After successfully completing this lesson, you will be familiar with the safety system unit, the SSU-8810. The safety system unit monitors and controls safety functions. This is an example of a system configuration. Mouse over the components to identify the components. The safety system unit provides the following control and monitoring facilities. The safety system unit will shut down the engine if the main engine's safety limits are exceeded or one of the shutdown sensors is activated. The unit's response is immediate. There are two types of shutdown, non-cancellable shutdown and cancellable shutdown. A non-cancellable shutdown stops the engine immediately. There is no time lapse or delay with a non-cancellable shutdown. A cancellable shutdown stops the engine after a predefined time lapse or delay. In the event of overspeed, the RPM detector system will activate the emergency stop solenoid valve and stop the engine. The rough C mode is optionally provided in order to avoid overspeed trip during rough C conditions. A push button for activating rough C mode can be provided on the safety system. When rough C mode is activated and overspeed is detected, the following sequence takes place. When the engine speed reaches the overspeed level, the fuel will be cut off, forcing the engine speed to decrease. When the engine speed has been reduced to a preset reset level, fuel will be supplied, and the engine will slowly resume its previous speed. There is also an upper speed limiter provided for this function. This limit is adjustable. The reason for this upper limit is simply that it is not so wise to operate with maximum load in rough sea conditions. This is to avoid fluctuation between overspeed, then reset, then overspeed, and so on. Rough C mode with overspeed auto reset function is not recommended by Wartzler NSD. However, it is provided as an option. Overspeed is not possible to cancel. Click on the buttons to see animations of the functions.
The standard shutdown parameters specified by Wartzler NSD are as follows. These shutdowns may be configured as cancelable or non-cancelable. The slowdown functions force the ship's main engine to reduce its load to a preset value if one of the slowdown sensors is activated. All slowdowns are defined in the configuration and commissioning plan as non-cancellable or cancellable safety functions. During a slowdown alarm condition, the relevant LED indicator illuminates and an acoustic alarm sounds. Signals for slowdown alarm and acoustic alarm indications are also given at a remote location when applicable. All slowdown sensors are monitored for communication loop failure. The safety system has inputs for three emergency stop switches with loop failure detection for broken wire or short circuit. The emergency stop push buttons are located on the bridge as a push button with cover, in the engine control room as a push button with cover, and at the local manoeuvring stand as a push button. Emergency stop is activated when one of the push buttons is activated. The emergency stop solenoid valve is activated and the fuel rack to zero order is given to the governor. The RPM is measured with two separate RPM detection systems mounted towards the engine gear wheel or flywheel. The RPM is displayed on the safety system unit. There are output signals to operate a number of RPM indicators, as well as revolution counter, running hour counter, and digital RPM level contacts. If both RPM detection systems have failed, you will have a start block of the main engine. This alarm block LED indicator illuminates when an alarm blocking signal is given to the alarm system. This usually occurs when the engine's RPM are below the lowest measurable point defined as engine not rotating. This function is normally used to inhibit alarms and signals to cylinder lubricators while the main engine is stopped. The RPM LED indicators illuminate when the main engine's RPM level is within a preset range. When the main engine has reached the preset RPM level, 
it is possible, for example, to give connect signal to the shaft generator. The fail 1 and fail 2 LEDs indicate a failure in either RPM detector system 1 or RPM detector system 2. Pressing the system 1 push button when the system is not in auto mode will cause the system to select system number 1 as the RPM reference. If the system is in auto mode, system 1 will be selected as the RPM reference, but will automatically change to system 2 if there is a failure in system 1. The safety system includes a detection system for critical RPM. When the engine's RPM are within the critical speed range, the lamp critical RPM will slowly flash. After a certain time where the RPM is within the critical speed range, the alarm lamp will change to quick flash and an alarm is triggered. There are two critical RPM zones available and they are set in the parameter section on the safety system unit. The SSU8810 has a built-in test program where all input and output signals can be simulated. By selecting the input signal and then setting the actual signal in simulation mode, it is possible to simulate the signal to start the different sequences in the SSU8810 safety system. The SSU8810 safety system has a built-in error checking and self-monitoring facility covering its CPU, its memory circuits and other main circuits. Alarm is given if any of the following faults are detected. The engine side control console telegraph contains several safety functions, such as indications for shutdown, slowdown, emergency stop and overspeed, and push buttons for cancel shutdown, reset safety system and emergency stop.